It was late. I had just finished a case, and was about to leave when the phone rang. An anonymous tip-off, on the murder of Leonora Johnson. As per usual, work followed me home. This is the town that made mass murder into nostalgia. Of course, to become truly popular, your murder has to be both unsolved and gruesome. In a town full of alien spotters, adults dressed as zombies, and entertainers dressed as cartoon characters, it takes something particularly awful to really catch people's attention. The tip-off gave me the locations of clues that might help the case. Years, horny nerds have wondered what happened to Leonora Johnson, and if they would have plucked up the courage to speak to her or kill her themselves. It's inspired filmmakers, writers, and copycat killers. Conspiracy theorists have blamed various celebrities, the mayor, the Soviets, short skirts, women's liberation, and hidden aliens embedded amongst us for the murder. First off was the Jim Tremander Hotel in Vinewood. Apparently, someone had information, but it was too scared to talk. I've been here a hundred times during the investigation. We found nothing. This clue was planted recently. Old Fred acts nice, but it ain't so. Fred Quincy, the founder of Fred's Pictures Film Studio, he was one of the main suspects in the case. The next clue was reported to be at Alta City Hall, San Andreas seat of governmental power. If ever you wanted to leave a clue to be found by the highest order, this would be the place. Fred makes cartoons for kids. Funny thing, considering what he did. This clue directly implicates Quincy as the murderer. Was he the man behind Leonore's death? The Oriental Theater in Vinewood. I used to come here every weekend as a kid. Saw Capola Voro ten times. Saw it again recently, and I was not impressed. Ain't no mystery. They drowned her because of what she knew. This wasn't talking about Leonora. Veteran actor Isaac and his secretary went missing in 1949. Galileo Observatory, a place of astronomical science, aristocrats and school field trips. Abe Schwartzman came here a lot in his day. Maybe this clue was left here with the intention that he would find it. Great Chaparral Mine. The mine had been shut down in the late 1960s. The entrance was barred. Luckily I had some sea full. The air was thick and stifling. I was hot and struggled to breathe, but I knew I had to press on. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched.
the body of Isaac. Well preserved, he was still dressed in the costume he was to wear on the set of his last movie. The next location was off the coast west of Fort Zagunkudo. I needed diving gear for that, so I went to the sonar collection dock. I dived into the black abyss. The cold crept in. Chills ran up my spine as I saw the horror that had been hidden in these murky depths. The secretary. Her feet had been dressed in cement boots. Her hands had been tied behind her back. And she had been a bomb for preservation. The last place she and Isaac had been seen was the Richards Majestic. They disappeared after meeting with David Richards. Had to be him. David Richards must have killed them. David Richards passed away in 2012. But at least I could find some solace for the families of the deceased. I snooped around his office to see if I could find anything that would link him to the murders. But I found so much more. Son of a bitch, it was Fred Quincy all along. And I had that bastard's number. <laughs>